Bonsoir. Good evening, church. My name is Joyce Achieng, and the title of my sermon is Women at the Well and Tomb. Historically, long, long ago, women were viewed as homemakers or home builders whose roles are to please their husbands work hard and have children does that still happen today <laughs> proverbs 31 verse 10 to 31 talks about the roles of a virtuous woman genesis 1 verse 28 states that god told adam and eve to go out and replenish the earth in the jewish culture women were only to be seen and not heard that's why usually in the bible there were five thousand men women were not there <laughs> we're going to review the stories of women who are more than just housewives and children bearers these are those who are evangelists who ministered and held the ground for jesus Men followers were hiding, or should I say boy followers were hiding, and Peter of all men denied Jesus three times. At the well was the Samaritan woman, whose story is recorded in John 4 verse 1 to 42. Her conversation with Jesus led her to wanting the water from Jesus as well that will never run dry. And from that, she became an evangelist to all the people in her village and she invited them to come to meet the Messiah. Amen. Are you seeing us women, we are very important? Yeah. Several women disciples were involved when Jesus was going through all the pain and agony of, self, of paying for our sins, as recorded in Isaiah 53. The Gospels mentioned Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, Joanna, and other women who were not identified by name. The leader of them all was Mary Magdalene, who was the first to see that the tomb was open when they came to anoint Jesus with spices and ointment. And Jesus, she was the first to see the resurrected Jesus, and Jesus told her to rejoice always, according to Matthew 28, verse 9. Mary Magdalene was the lady who was cast from seven demons. She was the one who went to find the boys in hiding and told them that Jesus was risen. Then Peter ran to the tomb to verify. The focus of the story of these women is for us today to have enough courage to be and to be true followers of Jesus Christ. If women can spend half of the time they use in makeup, Christ would have already come and they could have also been recorded in the Bible, isn't it? <laughs> All these beautifications are the sweethearts that we should let go of. May God help us to be like these women of faith. Are you ready to be like one of them? Yeah.